Welcome back everyone to another fun gear review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Coleman 316 series 70 quart cooler made in the USA, Wichita, Kansas. How cool is that? Well, I need a way to store food when I go out in my uh, camper that I'm working on and I decide to go with this. Now this is not the first Coleman cooler I've owned. In fact, this is probably the sixth one. Uh, a few of them had unfortunate accidents and one just plain wore out. Like literally wore out, fell apart. Now is that to say that these are cheaply made? Nah, not really. I only have one gripe with these and we'll get into that here in a minute. But first, the specs. So, as I said, this is a 70 quart or 66.2 liter cooler. Now, they claim keeps the ice for up to five days. Look at that. Can you see that? That's a pretty bold claim. And they say that mainly because they have started insulating the lids because for a long time these lids were hollow and they never put insulation in them. So, to give you some specs, this cooler is 31.2 inches long by 15.7 inches wide, 17 inches tall, or 79.25 centimeters long, 39.88 centimeters wide, by 43.18 centimeters tall. Okay, give you a look at the side here. You got your handles. And these handles have a hole all the way through here where you can put a rope through there, through this hole, which is great. Look at the lid. You have a molded in ruler, both in inches and centimeters right here. You got four little, you know, spots for your can or your your cup or whatever with drain areas. And, of course, you have a drain plug. And a warning here. Children might become entrapped in this airtight cooler. Keep out of their reach when not in use. Yeah. So we'll take a look inside. As you can see, it is pretty spacious. They say this will hold 100 soda cans, regular sized soda cans. Oh, left me a sticker, that's nice. Now, this particular one, I picked up at Walmart a while back, like about four or five months back, and I got it for right around 50 bucks. Current price on Walmart and Amazon for this exact cooler is $56 even. I think that's a steal. Two of the things about Coleman coolers that kind of suck is, first of all, these hinges. These plastic hinges always wear out and they always break. They just suck, okay? Coleman has been making uh, these plastic style coolers since the 70s and I just it just kind of irritates me that they've never updated these hinges. Well, good news is, is I can get replacements for these and uh, I can even get metal ones. So that's definitely an upgrade I'm going to be looking at. The other thing that kind of sucks about these, I'm going to have to pull you back here and point you down are these drains. These get broke quite often. Even though it's recessed in here, these have a tendency of getting broke. Usually from rough ham handling, not paying attention, that type of thing. But because they get broke so often, they actually have replacements available for that. But other than that, these are really nice, useful coolers, and I still like them. So we're going to get on to the testing portion here, and I will uh, see you then. 
it up the way I'm gonna do this. I got ice in there, but here's our control. So as you can see, it's about 69, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 20 degrees Celsius. That's the room temperature. And what I did is, let me move you closer here. I have a thermometer duct taped inside here to where we can get an ambient temperature in here. And I got my ice bottles. Now these ice bottles are nothing but juice bottles and stuff like that. I like the square ones because they don't roll around. And I freeze about an inch at a time in these, in the freezer, or about 2.54 centimeters. That way these don't burst. It takes longer to do that, but they last. And this is how I have done ice in my coolers for a long time. This, uh, this bottle, this little Fiji water bottle, you can see the layers. That's about how much I'd freeze each time. Okay? And the nice thing about doing it this way is you don't have a lot of water in here as long as your uh, lids are tight. So I have those all along the bottom. All right. Now the temperature inside there is reading, let's see if I can get a good look at it, right about... 40 degrees Fahrenheit where that's setting or about mm, what is that five degrees Celsius something like that and this is our first night doing it it's just past 11 p.m. the 27th of uh, November and each day I get home from work and I get settled I'll try to come out here the same time in the p.m. and film a segment of this and we're going to see how much of this ice melts over that five-day period all right so i will see you all tomorrow night back so it is the 28th of november it's just after 11 o'clock i had a terrible day at work <laughs> but let's take a look here our temperature inside is 69, 70 degrees or 20 degrees centigrade. Let's see what we got going on inside here. All right. Move. Oh, we definitely got some water going on in there with our ice. So it looks like our temperature is right around 35 or 38 degrees Fahrenheit and what eight or nine degrees centigrade in here it's ooh, it's nice and cool but we are seeing definitely some melt after 24 hours so will we get a full five days out of this I don't know we're going to find out, though. So I will see you on day two, 24 hours from now. Catch you then. Today is November 29th. It's just after 11 p.m. I had a eh day at work. Not bad, not good, just a eh day. All right. So looking at our room temperature, it's still at like 69, 70 degrees or 20 degrees centigrade. Temperature inside my house is pretty, pretty stable. All right, let's get up here. Whoops. And there's definitely some more melt action going on. So, mm, let's see here. I'd say... 40, 44, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, or roughly, yeah, what the cat said. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see here. Mm, 8 degrees Celsius, something like that. It's cool in here. You can really feel how cool it is. We've got 
more melt action going on. There's still a lot of ice there. That's mostly all ice. But you can definitely see that we are getting some melting going on. But this is 48 hours, two whole days. Not looking too bad. We were, we still got three days to go, so I will see you tomorrow night. Now been officially 72 hours or three days. I had a eh day at work. At least it's hump day. The week's half over. As you can see, it's just after 11 p.m. And we're going to take a look and see what's going on here. All right. Uh, temperature inside looks to be just under 50 degrees. I'd say about 48 degrees or about 9 Celsius. We do have some melt action going on here. And there's uh, still an ice core here. But boy, that's a lot of melt. I'm not sure we're going to make the five day mark. Uh oh. That one on the end is completely thawed out. That's just water now. The next one in line still has a core of ice in it. Not very much. So, not looking good. Will we make five days? I, I really question it now. It is nice and cool in here though, three days. And the only time I'm opening this is to film, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow. It is day four, or 96 hours in. It is December 1st, it's just after 11 p.m. at night. And uh, we're going to take a look here. The temperature inside the house is 69, 70 degrees, or just a little over 20 degrees centigrade. And we're going to see what we got here. I'm really curious because we're getting close to the end. Uh-oh. That don't look good. It does feel cool inside, but I want you to be able to see this thermometer here. So, I'm going to... Oh man, that duct tape is tough stuff. It is reading like 53 degrees or maybe 12 degrees centigrade. This thermometer is. And there is no ice visible left. It's cool in there, but look, everything's thawed out. Let me get you up close here. Everything is thawed out. So, yeah. Well, it looks like three days and some change. I imagine you could get maybe five days out of this if it was like half full of ice and half full of food because this whole claim they have on here keeps ice for five days, they don't really say how much ice they have. So I guess take of that with my experiment what you think. This would work for me because I don't plan on being gone for more than a couple days at a time. So it's gonna work out fine for me. Uh, for other people, it might not be so great. Now, this was also inside a house, reasonable temperatures, and the only time I opened this was to film after I'd set it up. So, mm, not as great as it could be, you know? Not terrible, but not great either. So I guess that'll wrap up this review of the Coleman 316 series cooler. You know, you decide for yourself if it's worth the money. 56 bucks, it isn't a terribly expensive cooler. There's a lot more expensive options out there. It'll work fine for me, though. And that's all I got to say about that. I will catch you later on out there playing in that snow.
We've already got some snow here. It's great. I love it. All right. Have a good night.